Hi, it's Megan. I have two new lipsticks. Um, I've been into lighter, neuter lipsticks. I don't know, what, a year ago I was into darker lipsticks, and then I was into red, and now I'm into lighter lipsticks. So, you know, that's just the way it goes. I have the two new limited edition Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. So one of these is a kissing lipstick, which is the more satin sheen formula, and the other one is the matte revolution lipstick. So right now the one I'm wearing is Valentine. So these are, oh shoot, I didn't write it down. I think they're $32, but um, oops. If I'm wrong about that, I will put it in the description to the video that I got the price wrong and what the price is. So this is Valentine. So this is the kissing lipstick. And obviously it's a pink, but what Charlotte herself says, darlings, I'm so excited to reel my exclusive kissing Valentine lipstick. Named perfectly by you on Instagram, this gorgeous petal rose pink totally spot on description by the way I'm just gonna cut in um, I said it has a touch of strawberry but she's totally right about the color see um, almost a little too pink for me but we'll get to that gives you irresistibly kissable lips in seconds in which with 3d glowing pigments to give you fuller wider pout this beautifully hydrating 60s inspired lipstick again I'm gonna interrupt her commentary to say yes totally agree contains soothing orchid and lipstick tree extracts finished with an angled square tip apply this youth boosting kissing lipstick straight from the bullet for the best lips of your life so it has it protects against UV damage um, fighting oxidative stress so that lips are less soft less soft less soft Left soft, pert, soothed, and high rated a tropical plant originating from America the plump yet prickly red fruit of the lipstick tree appear like pouting lips that blow kisses at you as you walk by. Hmm. The color from its seeds was originally used by indigenous American people to paint and protect their lips. I've actually never read this before. And also contains light diffusing pigments that gives lips a brilliant, luminous, multi-dimensional finish. They capture the light across the lips and reflect it back out for a full bodied effect. I actually, I think I did read it and then forgot it. And then it says a special blend of wet waxes. I mean, this lipstick is a dream to use and glides over the contours of your lips. The result is color rich and buildable. The formula does not bleed outside the lip lines. So that was a lot of information. So no, they're not drying, or this one is not drying. No, it doesn't bleed out my lip lines. That is absolutely true. It also doesn't gather into my lip, lip lines, whatever, which can be a problem with lighter shades sometimes. And it doesn't wear unevenly, which can also be a problem with lighter shades at times on me. Um, I thought it applied, it's got a beautiful creamy texture. I actually think the Kissing Lipstick formula is better than the Matte Revolution Lipstick, even though I own way more of the Matte Revolution Lipstick. I actually like the Kissing formula better, um, so let's show you the lipstick. So again, the Kissing Box. And the pretty, I really like this packaging. I know some people don't, I love it. I just think it's so, I don't know, retro 20s, glamorous, I love it. Um, and then you do not get the square. Does it say that we got a square? Hmm. This does not give you the square. The other one, the matte revolution gives you the square. And um, it's really pretty on. It's also more opaque than sometimes these lighter colors can be. So there's a swatch. It has, mm, I would say, just a tiny smidgen touch, touch, touch of that little white undertone that sometimes shows, but barely. And that's an important thing because this is almost too cool a pink for me. It's my mom and my aunt both have blonde hair, blue eyes, but they've got that really light pinker complexion, you know, really pale, but, and this type of color looks beautiful on them. My daughter also has cool undertones, but she has brown hair and brown eyes. This is the kind of shade which looks amazing on her. On me, it's really pretty. I don't get me wrong. It's not that I don't like it on me. I do. I think it's really pretty. Um, and I'm into these shades right now, but I think um, I'm, for someone who's really warm tones, might not be the ideal shade. And so you can see it does have just a really pretty glow. And I'm impressed, like I said, with how opaque it is, given given everything. And this will wear about an hour and a half to two hours on me, which for a light shade is, is pretty good. So I lost, oh, okay, I was too lazy to go look for more wipes. I ran out of wipes, so I'm using the old-fashioned makeup squares with, oh my gosh, lipstick remover, or makeup remover. So I'm going to do the next one. I do this on camera because that way people can see my natural lip color and how it's affecting the lipsticks and then also how it applies but it's too boring to start out with no lipstick on so I start with one so this blot my lips is the next one
looks more orange. It does not look orange in person. I'm looking at it on my lips. It looks a little orange on the camera. I can never tell until I actually play it back how it looks, but this does not look at all orange. Um, so let's do it. This is the Pillow Talk, and this is the Matte Revolution. We'll put it next to, so you can see the difference. And so you can see, this one's definitely that rosy pink and this one I think is a better color for me pillow talk and Charlotte describes it as a gorgeous nudie pink and I would say a pinky nude works better for me I think it's more nude than pink but you know it's got a little touch of brown in it that warms it up but it definitely is a nice uh, everyday kind of color for me so let's see what, what else she says about the um, matte this iconic shade is taken from the infamous Lip Cheat Lip Liner, and it minimizes and enhances the natural hue of your lips, so you can cheat a perfect pillowy pout in seconds. Enriched with soothing orchid and lipstick tree extracts, lips appear wider, fuller, with a softer, more youthful feel. So you saw my lips with no lipstick. You can decide for yourself whether that works. And finish with an angled square tip. Apply straight from the bullet for the best, the best lips of your lives. So she, and then again we have the 3D glowing pigments that create the illusion of lit from within lips that appear wider and fuller. This one also has triglycerides and a blend of oils and waxes. And these both feel lighter on. So these to me are kind of the lighter, not super light, because I'm going to do a video in a couple minutes with super light. But these are the lighter softer creamier kind of feel and this one lasts about two hours on me I also don't get bleeding um, I don't get bunching into my lip lines I don't get um, staining with either of the two colors they're just too light and um, they're not drying on me but I tend not to have a dry lip problem although occasionally when the weather gets a little screwy I do um, so I really like these I think they're really pretty just kind of a natural soft everyday kind of lipstick so Please let me know uh, what you think if you have them, and subscribe on YouTube because it does help me a lot, and uh, I'll be doing more videos pretty soon. Thanks for watching.